Girayom Dev Ji Sheshnag Mandia, what on earth is Kundalini? Just wanted to do a video, not so much about knowledge, just about questioning myself. Why is it that me as a human remember pain more than I remember joy? Is it true that things that get past the amygdala in regards to the emotional regulation of the human body, the traumatic experiences are the ones that shift the psyche, but somehow they become physical and ingrained in the cells? I don't know for sure. I find it very intriguing. Because I look back on my life and I remember, if you read my books, I remember a lot of the pain. I don't remember or recall a lot of the joy. So somehow the pain stays in the subpsyche and then the subpsyche is the thing that dominates and recreates experiences. One of my tutors, I only have really one, my tutor, Justin Patrick Pierce. He explains how most people can't find love in their life because subconsciously we, we recreate an experience of unlove. It's the unlove that is programmed into our subpsyche, mainly before the age of seven, in the form of the energetic dynamic of our parents and the um, chaos that happens in that energy but also throughout our life when pain happens because of that subconscious pattern ingrained in our subpsyche then that is reendorsed that's why there's a big shift at the moment globally in regards to the human psyche and becoming aware of our feelings, becoming aware of our um, mind on different levels, becoming more conscious rather than subconscious, appreciating what's unconscious within us. I find it really intriguing to try and shift into the power of acceptance, love, Just simply being me and being content in me and also regulating that so other people are comfortable with my expression of me and the reflection of themselves they see through me. Why is it? Is that the reason why we have to do hypnosis and meditation and somatic therapy to try and purge the stuff, agitate the subconscious. I've done a video on this channel about the three layers of the mind related to the lotus in the pond where the mud is the sub or the unconscious, the water is the subconscious and above the surface is the conscious. But we agitate the mud so we go through an experience of subconsciousness to end up in a flourishing expression of beauty through the conscious mind. Just something that I've been thinking about. Because I feel the pain. And I endorse the pain a lot more than I do the joy. Like I have a good life. I've done some work to be able to create an experience which is pleasant for me. But I go out of my way to experience and recreate displeasure. Who knows why? You'd think if anyone would know why, I'd know why. Thanks for listening. I don't have the answers. These are more questions. Share the world, sheshnag.com. What on earth is Kundalini? You can buy it on Amazon. <laughs>
<laughs> See, if I was confident in myself, I could sell that shit a lot better. <laughs> Peace. Share the world. Om Namah Shivai.